on this edition of the news! Three more Black Series reveals for 2020. The Sith Trooper has a first edition, which is the third edition. We'll talk more about that. Lego has an ultimate Star Destroyer. It is humongous and amazing. We'll check out the images. And was there anything else? Hmm. That's right. Wave 1 has been revealed for Triple Force Friday. All this and more coming up. Welcome to my Tales Toy Showcase channel. A few days off, back to tell you some awesome news. This is this is brilliant. If you've been asleep during the night, some interesting figures of Star Wars: The Black Series, the first wave that drops for Triple Force Friday. For you who don't know what Triple Force Friday is, and I see it in comments on forums and even in my own videos, it is the day that Star Wars gives us all the new product, and the triple means it's going to revolve around. The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and Jedi Fallen Order, the video game. So figures or characters from those will be made into action figures for you guys and going to the stores on that day, and they will be there. Excellent. Here in Australia, rumour is there will be some at Kmart. Kmart has nothing. It is a bit like Smith's in the UK. It doesn't have Star Wars stuff, but apparently there's a rumour that they're going to have some stuff. Big W... Aussie Walmarts, you know, they're going to have some stuff. Even Zing Pop Culture Stores, they're going to have a Triple Force Friday. Excellent. Let's get on to the reveals. Let's start off with those three Black Series uh, rumours that are headed your way for 2020. The, these ones here were dropped yesterday. And interesting enough, it's one from a prequel, one from the OT, and one from the sequel trilogy. Let's get stuck into the first image we put up, thanks to yakface.com. It's a battle droid from Attack of the Clones. This one is slightly different in color compared to the battle droid that we got in the last wave of the Black Series. Very awesome. The next one is the Hoth Rebel Trooper. Now we have a Hoth Rebel Trooper in the vintage collection, but this is a long time coming figure that people have been asking for. This figure that they're going to put in the Black Series or will most likely be put on the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary. Why is there a helicopter flying over right now? The next one is the Sith Jet Trooper. I'm guessing this is just a 6 inch version of the one we saw revealed on the back of that card from the Vintage Collection, a Sith Jet Trooper. We didn't know what color it was. He's a red one as well. Awesome stuff. You want some more information about that? Head to yakface.com and read the articles on the website. Moving on to that Star Destroyer from Lego. Wow, check this out. This has been officially revealed. The Ultimate Collector Series. Imperial Star Destroyer, 4,784 pieces, available October the 1st. Now, if there there is some conjecture about this, where if you're some kind of LEGO member, you get it a little bit early, but the rest of us normies, October the 1st. Um, the price on this, if you have Euro dollars, Euro dollars, it is 699.99 euros. Went to an Aussie site and it says it is $1,099.99. So $1,100 here in Australia for that piece of Lego. <laughs> there is only two minifigures in this as well. Interesting enough, you'd think it'd have more for that kind of price. That's all it is. Very cool design. We see these in the Rise of Skywalker trailer. So I think there's a little bit of correlation between getting this and that next movie. So if you're a Lego collector, get on it now. I know I have a lot of LEGO collectors within the community who watch my videos, so I like sharing the LEGO. I don't collect LEGO myself, but if you guys like to, awesome stuff. Next up, for those who love Funko, uh, listed on Instagram by official MTFBWY, may the force be with you, they put this graphic up on the screen and it reads, the new items will be Han and Leia, a Darth Vader in a Meditation Chamber Deluxe, a Luke on Tauntaun Deluxe, a Probe Droid, Leia Bespin, and training Luke with Yoda, which would probably be Dagobah. <laughs> All these are coming soon. There's no date. I'm guessing it'll be sometime after October the 4th, maybe on October the 4th for Triple Force Friday. Yet to see. An interesting thing I put up on my 
YouTube community page. I don't know if you know about it. I have a community page. You go to my normal page, click on the community tab. You'll see sometimes I list some stuff on there. You guys who have already been there and written on there and, and see stuff know it's there already. I put a poll up there. Are you buying the Galaxy of Adventures 5-inch figures from Hasbro? 496 votes are in. And the official thing is no. 89% no. 11% yes. I didn't put a maybe on there. Some years who clicked on yes said you will pick one of them up. So some people who collect, say, Vader. Everyone, you've got a big collection of Vader, like my friend Chris Perillo. He's got a massive collection of Vader stuff. You'll go and get that figure because it's another Vader figure to your collection. So that's why people do that sort of kind of collecting. There might be a trooper. You always collect troopers. You always collect Kylos, Rays, whatever. That's You'll just get your one. You might not collect the whole set. But thank you for everyone who voted on that poll. That gives us an indication of how it's going to pan out in shops with, you know, 89% is rather high. Before I get on to the Triple Force Friday Black Series reveals, I want to share this image with you from a Black Series Facebook page. This is from Alfie H. And look at that. Every single Black Series figure numbered in one photo. Now, some of you I know have these at home, you might have 1 through to 89, that's all of them. Have a good look at the photo, I think there's 83, 4, 5, 6 all mixed around a bit. They're all there, they're all there, well done. I wanted to share that with you because we're about to talk about the reveals. Oh yeah! Let me start by saying they were found on a site called OfferUp. I'd never heard of it. OfferUp is kind of like a Facebook marketplace slash Craigslist thing. Didn't know anything about this site. Anyway, guy called Carl Diesel 17 jerked them up on Instagram and Kylo Collector posted them up for the rest of the world to see and you guys in the States you're probably it's the middle of the night and you like wake up and go oh look Usual Mike's got him in his video check it out here they are we're gonna start with the first one the first order stormtrooper now if you remember there was an Amazon exclusive one this one here it's got that right baton and the shield that's the same one people was like what yes we, we knew this stormtrooper was going and it is we know it. Some of us already own this figure without the right baton and the shield, but primarily you're getting this dude here. Yay! <laughs> awesome. Let's move on to the next one. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. This one has uh, two cross-bladed lightsabers in there, one with the flames in it, the other without. He has also a hood in there that's interchangeable with the helmet, I believe. It is solid, it's not like soft or anything. Moving on to Ray and Dio. She comes with a staff, a pistol. The lightsaber in the picture looks purple, but I can assure you it's blue. And the little new droid, Dio. Very nice facial sculpt of Ray as well. It looks pretty damn good. I, I do like the change of outfit. It gives it a fresher appearance, you know, different from what we've seen before. Next one is the Mandalorian. Ooh, we've only seen images of him from the show. Now we have him in glorified in plastic. Got his gigantic big rifle with that little wire blade on the front and a pistol as well. This one here on the internets is most popular. There's more likes on this one than all the others. Brilliant looking character. Brilliant. Thought it'd be in a bigger box, but no, it's just a standard size box. Speaking of standard size boxes, an off-world Jawa. Now this one here, this is very interesting. This is from the Mandalorian, this Jawa. So don't think it's from episode four. This is Mandalorian Jawas. They have the red eyes. He comes with a couple of weapons. Got some soft goods. And yes, this box is the same size. There's nothing tiny about him. Just a little figure. Just kind of like putting Yoda in there. We move on to Jedi Fallen Order stuff. Cal Kestis. This one here, because it's a human, I, I'm looking at that figure. We don't know nothing about this guy yet. Not a bad likeness. Very, very good likeness of the actor. This is the guy who played Ian Gallagher on Shameless, and I just can't get my brain past that. <laughs> His lightsaber, as you see it there, has a massive hilt. And also, you can see he's packed in, without it being written on the box, the droid BD-1. He's, he comes with a little droid on the packaging it has him on the shoulder and in the box. He's right down the bottom there. Very cool. Next up's one we've seen before, the Second Sister Inquisitor, seen recently in a video. This is a much nicer picture. I think the first one was very 
dark and grainy. I don't know what was going on in that image, but this one here, see it looks pretty damn awesome. If you want to check out that video from before, I'll leave a link up in a card there for you. And the Sith Trooper, the Red Trooper, in a red box with two guns. <laughs> awesome. And we're going to talk more about that, that Trooper in just a second, because there's another one floating around amazingly. The numbering. If you guys know, if you guys know the highest number released at the moment is 89, it is triple zero. Fantastic character. Love this figure. Very, very cool. We move on to tell you about, I think we've only mentioned the Sith Trooper was number 92. So chuck that image up on the screen. You can see they're all blurry. I know that's as good as the image got. But with my detective work, I can tell you this. Number 90 is Kylo Ren. Number 91 is Rey. Number 92 is the Sith Trooper. Number 93 is Cal Kestis. Number 94 is the Mandalorian. Number 95, Second Sister Inquisitor. Number 96 is the Offworld Jawa. And number 97 is the Storm Trooper. Very cool. Now, we're going to talk about that, that Sith Trooper. <laughs> that Sith Trooper, it popped up in on Amazon Germany. And I was like, what? So thanks to the tip-off from yakface.com once again. There it is, the White Trooper. Ooh, what is this? This is something that everyone's kind of scratching their head because in that little circle that comes of the packaging, it has first edition. Technically, it's not because the first edition would have been the San Diego Comic-Con one that came in the red box. And then the one we're going to see in number 92 in the black and red box is the Sith Trooper. And this white one will be a third edition, which is they're calling a first edition. It's so confusing. There's three different versions. It's just give us Sith Troopers all day long. They must have the most wonderful part in this film. I have no idea, but we are getting Sith Troopers, Jump Troopers, Rocket Troopers, you name it. They're coming out from everywhere. Amazingly. What do you guys think of this one? I don't know what to think of it because I think it's kind of a, a cash grab. You've got one red trooper. Oh, hang on, I've got to get a different color box. Oh, I've got to get a different color box again. The white one is a is a is like a collectible chase one. Uh, we've seen uh, listings from Yakface that say that there is like a, a London white. Like, is there a white box for a, the Ray figure that we just saw up on the screen? Uh, we've seen like troopers have the word pearl next to them. They're going to be in a pearly colored box. We don't know. Watch this space for more information. But yeah, we're going to get some colored boxes. This looks interesting. Will it make us buy things three times over? Yes. But then again, people who do buy them multiple times over, you keep one in the box, you take one out, you put one away as collectible. Collecting. And then do that three times over. <laughs> oh, Something cool I want to share with you right at the back end of the video is from Hoppy's Creations. This one is a mock-up of a scene from The Rise of Skywalker, a scene in the trailer when they're on the planet Pasana. And as you can see, it's done with it's done with action figures on a moving backdrop. I think that's a TV in the background. Very, very cool. I like this. Very, very excellently done. Awesome. Uh, my friend DIY SW Dioramas has the cantina coming along in the next video. We will see some pictures of that as well. Little diorama, brilliant stuff. Let me know down below what you like about the reveals that are coming for the Black Series. I know we did the, like a back of a card, back of the Vintage Collection in a previous video. This one, the Black Series stuff, yes, some really good figures in there. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Um, super long video today. That is it. Thank you for joining me. My affiliate is Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles for all your Marvel, DC, and sci-fi needs. Check him out today. Link in the description down below. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. If you'd like to send some fan mail, it's up here. P.O. Box 957 Lismore, New South Wales 2480 Australia. And I got a bit of merch. Check out my merch. There's my shirts. If you like the designs you see on the screen, don't forget to check out the Redbubble store where they're sold. Link in the description down below. Buying from the Redbubble store helps out my channel, so thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.
All the best.